Question 40. Dalrymple, Dalrymple and Dalrymple, a fierce Scottish law firm, has an IP version 6 first strategy and finished last week rolling out and enabling the security enhanced Linux or SE Linux kernel security module to all Linux based servers. The operations team is receiving reports that an application is no longer able to perform certificate based authentication and discovers a certificate file has accidentally been deleted from one of the Linux servers. A backup administrator tries to restore the certificate directly back to the virtual machine, but is unable to complete the restore. What could be the issue? <laughs> this is because the JFS file system is not supported uh, when performing file level restores for Linux based virtual machines. And it, do it doesn't say anywhere that it's running on JFS. So uh, I guess this could potentially be an issue. We could go and look up JFS. Edit the etc se Linux config file to disable se Linux mode and the restore will be able to complete immediately after saving the file. So, I mean, it, it, it did say that they uh, implemented se Linux. So I, I guess this could be an option. This is because ZFS pools are not supported when performing file level restores for Linux based virtual machines. Again, we, we don't really know, so we, we would have to go and check is ZFS actually something supported or not. Edit etc se Linux config to disable se Linux mode, reboot the server, and the restore will be able to complete. So this is quite similar to the one up here, whereas one is saying it will work as soon as we save the file, the other one basically says we, we, we have to reboot the server and then it will work. And then at the bottom here, it says backend replication does not support restores to Linux based dual stack IP version 6, IP version 4 virtual machine. Now, in some cases, Veeam does have some IP version 6 issues, but this being dual stack, I hardly think that that's going to be the issue. So, where can we find out about these file systems? Maybe we should go to the Veeam user guide. Let's see. So that would be multi OS file level restore group. Uh -huh. And it says here before you restore, check prerequisites. Okay, let's check the prerequisites. Check the supported file systems. That's exactly what we were looking to do. Perfect. So let's see here. We were looking for JFS. So that was one of the items that we had here. So JFS is clearly one of the uh, supported options. If we go down a little bit, uh, we can also see uh, some stuff on uh, Solaris here with ZFS. So yeah, I, I don't think necessarily this is going to be specifically the uh, issue here to be completely honest, but uh, let's take a closer look. So uh, maybe uh, there could be some issue with this uh, SE Linux stuff here. Uh, so the real question is, how do we figure out about this SE Linux? Well, we could go up here and just try and search for SE Linux and see if something pops up. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so it, uh, Linux target VM. Mind the following must be disabled. Okay, so the uh, real question, I guess, is how do you disable SE Linux? Now, I guess this is the Veeam documentation and not really the SE Linux documentation. So uh, that's potentially something we would have to go and investigate a little bit further. So let's try and just do a quick search here, disable SE Linux. Let's see. Uh, let's try a quick uh, click here, continue. See, da, 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 prerequisites, check the status, disable it. Okay, so we would have to go here and set it to disabled, save the file, and then reboot, and then we would see that it works. Okay, so we, if we come back, uh, we know now, based on the Veeam documentation, that it has to be disabled, and we also know that you have to reboot. Based on that, this one appears to be the correct answer.